Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Max, and today we're going to be tying Hobo Spay's brother, Larry. It's a spin on the Hobo Spay, a little more complex, I guess, adding a back collar in there with a little bit of hot spot. Um, really nice swing fly. Um, throwing it on a, a two hander or the single hander with some kind of skagit line on there. Um, really like this fly, it's sparse, got the hot spots on there, flows really well in the water, and uh, catches fish. So give her a shot if you're looking for some trout or steelhead. Like the purple combination as well, switching the blue out for the purple, but the black is, uh, is a great color. So we're going to start off here with a Arex HR412 low water single. This is a number two. Uh, any upturned salmon hook will work. Uh, we're going to be snipping out this hook as we'll be using a uh, trailer hook here. Um, trailer hook, we're going to use a Gami. Uh, it's the octopus. And uh, really sticky, awesome hook. I like the size too, pairs well with this, this size. Um, if you were going to tie it for some like salmon maybe, um, I would go up a little bit, go to the one, maybe go to the one on the, on the low water hook. So we'll get it going here. Just going to start some uh, thread wraps. Snip out my tag. Once again, we got the Nano Silk. Uh, this is just the 50. And uh, super strong, really nice. We're not building up bulk. Holds loops well. When we're doing dubbing loops. So kind of my go-to all-around thread. Like it in the black and white. And you know, if you need to color stuff, color stuff. So got our gami and I'm gonna thread some wire through here. This is the Senyo's intruder wire and so I got one in there and then I'm going to go up with the other one the other side I'm going to even them up and then that leaves this loop I'm just going to slide the loop grab both of those tag ends and pull them tight so once I get them pulled tight snug it all the way down to the eye and then I'm going to kind of bend the wire over the eye, the hook pointing up. And that's just going to make it a little more flat when you're actually tying it in here. So I would normally go with the Zappa Gap, but uh, my Zappa Gap lid is compromised. So we got some Loctite here, another good. Uh, glue to have on your, your tying bench. So lay this down on there and we're going to try to keep both of these pieces of wire right on top. And I'm going to leave a couple millimeters here, the hook, trailer hook, and we'll go all the way down to about the the barb on the on the salmon hook. So I'll keep both of these on top. Super glue on there really secures the, the wire in there. I've never had an issue with anything pulling out. So go ahead and snip this out leaving ourselves a little bit of room. The eye, some pliers are necessary. Don't use your scissors while you're using or cutting the wire. And Make a bunch of covering wraps here. If you are uh, worried about getting poked by this trailer hook when tying intruder flies, uh, you could put a piece of foam on the hook point, which can help. Um, and you could also just tie it in the, uh, the tube style and not have to mess with the hook until you actually fix it onto the line. So. Both good options. Uh, I like to live dangerously 
and uh, let that hook just be free swinging back there. So, got our nice thread base, everything secured in there tightly. And now we're gonna start with a, a dubbing loop. So we got some Senyo's Fusion Dub. This is the Eat a Peach. A uh, really good mix of, of dubbings here. Uh, I'm gonna do my loop. And some wraps around the main piece. Close the loop. And bring it right back to our wire. And right to about where we're gonna finish, finish it up at. So, my dubbing spinner, throw that in there. And then we'll feed our dubbing in here, close the loop, and make sure it's even. You can also just do the uh, noodle for this. It's not super important that it's in the loop. Uh, I do kind of like how it flares out a little bit more. You could brush it out when you do the the noodle, but just almost as fast to do this because you're struggling to get these long fibers to stick on your thread. Don't want a lot. So I'm trying to tie a pretty sparse fly so it casts easily. And I'll make some wraps here. Just trying to build a little hot butt on this fly. Pull everything back. And we'll capture our loop, some wraps. And snip out our loop. Everything back, watch that hook. And so there we go. Nice little hot butt on there. Fusion dub. Comes in a bunch of different cool colors, so try it out, especially if you're tying uh, swing flies. So now we're gonna go to our strung. Saddle hackle, this is the Kingfisher Blue, and uh, we want a feather that's not super fat. Uh, we want one It's not going to build up too big of a collar in the back here. So I'm just going to pull out the tip of one, you know, pull all fluffy stuff off. And then we're going to tie in the stem first and wrap with the tip with some hackle pliers. So there's my tip and I'm snip this down just a little bit. Just a tie in point. Capture it right up against my dubbing. And then I'll get my hack pliers, grab the tip, and I'm gonna wrap away from me. Pulling back with each wrap. couple turns and then secure it some thread wraps and we can snip out our feather you know pull everything back make 
some wraps to make sure it stays pulled back. Trying to pull everything back. There's our back collar. <clears throat> and now our, our uh, body, this middle section of the fly is gonna be some flat diamond braid. So the silver and nice piece. So when we tie this one in, we're gonna go about the length that we're gonna wrap it. So starting there just helps make the body nice and even and we're going all the way back to our hackle here. And then work back up to where we're gonna finish. And I like using hackle pliers for this as well. Just keeps it flat and we want to make sure that this stuff lays down flat on the shank. Trapping anything. It's flat wrap there. Sprayed. Shank. Pinch it, grab a little bit further down, just get another wrap or two. in front, a couple behind, and it's secured in there tightly. We can snip out our tag. <clears throat> okay, so we got the back half of the fly completed. Uh, now we'll work towards the head of the fly, and uh, we got some more of that fusion dub. In this one, we're just going to do the noodle. Some turns here. And we'll do a little bit more on there. Pull it all back and we'll brush it out. So you see the dubbing loop definitely gets a little stringier than when you do the needle, but most of this can be covered up. So we just want the hot spot in there help build those collars. <clears throat> We're gonna go with uh, some Supreme Dub. This is the GG Blue Supreme Dub. You only get a mix of colors in here. And uh, instead of doing the loop, we want these like kind of stringy to like go with our Thin Raccoon and our Marabou. So I'm just gonna tie this straight down on there on the top side. And same thing, pretty sparse. Get the bottom side here. Pull them both back together. Make sure they're evenly spread. Okay. 
and then brush it out just a little bit. So it's gonna be popping through nicely. Uh, now we're gonna do some uh, fin raccoon. Uh, this is to just help prop up that marabou. So same thing here, pretty sparse. Uh, we're gonna hollow tie it, much like you would tie a bucktail in. Grab just a small patch of fin raccoon. Pick out some of these thicker, thicker hairs. So we just got the fluffy stuff and hollow tie. So I'm gonna reverse tie. And a loose wrap and try to spread it around a little bit. Right down a little more. Then we'll do the same thing on the underside. Super sparse though. Fix that. Some tight wraps. Even them up as you're pulling them back. Watch yourself on that hook. Keep your thread sneaking through there. And just build up a little bit of a thread dam. Starting to come together. Wet your fingers. Just kind of keep everything tight together out of your way as you're about to work in some of this marabou. <clears throat> so marabou, got the fish hunter marabou here. Um, we were using the Arctic Fisherman Fin Raccoon, two super premium products for sure. Marabou from Fish Hunter, it's really nice tips. So we want kind of just the tip of this feather, so we're gonna strip off the fluffier, thicker feathers at the bottom, down to the stem, and leave just some of those at the tip. So, nice. So go strip just a little more off. And proportionally, kind of maybe need to tie one just to figure out how thick you want that fly. So I'm about right there. Now we're gonna snip out the stem, give ourselves a tying spot. Piece of marabou here. And then we're going to grab our hackle pliers. And we're going to grab the tip of that feather. And we'll palmer this around a couple times. turn here be careful not to break your feather and then we can capture it for a thread snip out our tag the tip of the feather
wet our fingers, pull everything back here, and we'll leave in just enough room for a, sharp, or a, a fluorescent orange head or little collar on this fly. Kind of makes the, pulls everything together. So now we got our micro barred voodoo fibers. And these are synthetic options, similar to like a flashaboo, just barred pieces of flashaboo, black and white. And so I'm gonna have these we're gonna tie some men on each side. So we'll start with the side closest to me. Don't wanna to pull too tight cause they do kind of like stretch and uh, we'll snip out what we don't want in length in the back. We, got them, we do want them like about the length of, of the marabou or just past it. There's one on this side, have it again. And this is kind of like replaces the Lady Amherst feathers. And spread them just a little bit or tighten them down. Makes it look a little bit better. And then we'll get one more on the other side. Again, trying to spread them just a little bit. Separate them from being stacked on top of one another. They're gonna blend and flow really nice with the fly, so not hugely important. Okay. So now we'll do a little bit of Loctite on here. Just finish our thread wraps and do a whip finish. Again, I'm gonna wet my fingers and pull everything back. And so now we got some Floral Bright, Floro Bright Floss. Uh, this is the fluorescent orange. And uh, we're just gonna make a little head here. Start it, cover up those black thread wraps. We really wanna make sure that this lays flat. So let it spin, flatten out. Better tag. Really cool UV floss. Find that thread out again. Just coat it one more time. Okay, so we got it all coated up nicely and we'll just do a quick whip finish to finish it off. And we're gonna coat it with some UV just to make sure it stays together. So once again, we'll get in there with some uh, bone dry and 
wet the feathers back one more time. Keep them pulled out of the way. You could always use a piece of lead wire or something if you were concerned. Definitely don't want to get the marabou though. Just get your thread wraps. And hit it with our UV torch. See how much it glows there. There's our completed fly, and our last and final step would be to snip out our hook and then trim up our voodoo fibers to the length that we want. I like snipping out the hook first so I can get in there tight. So when I'm trimming the voodoo fibers so I can hold it in hand, I like to go at an angle. So one, and you can keep them all kind of different lengths. Just try and cut them at that angle so they look a little less robotic. So trimmed them up to about the length of the, the marabou. And back in there. There you have it, the Larry. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can get all the necessary ingredients to tie this fly at abbotmax.com and uh, tight lines.